Okay, the difference between mole and mole. Okay, mole is a unit of amount of substance and mole is a symbol of mole. For example, sir, if you have length, if you have length, the unit of length is meter, right? Okay, and the symbol, the symbol for meter is M. Okay, the symbol for meter is M. Now, amount of substance, eh? okay, uh, the unit is mole, how many mole, okay, and the symbol is mole, M-O-L. Mm -hmm. uh, so just now we say, uh, just now we say this is a short, short form, right? It can be, okay, because like this M, uh, M is a short form of meter, right? So this M-O-L is a short form of M-O-L-E, mole. So mole actually is a, is a unit eh, of amount of substance and the symbol is M-O-L, mole. This is symbol of mole and this is a unit of mole. This is a symbol of meter and this is a unit of length, eh, meter. So that's the difference between mole and uh, mole and mole. Conclusions. If they give us number of mole, so we can find the number of particles. Uh, this can be number of, atom, number of atoms, number of uh, these particles. Uh, these particles, it can be uh, atoms, it can be molecules, it can be ions. Eh? So if we have number of mole and we want to find the number of particles, then we multiply. Eh? We multiply by the Avogadro constant. Eh? The Avogadro constant is 6.02 times 10 to the power of 23. Okay. Uh, but if they give you the number of particles and then they want you to find the number of mole, then we do the reverse, right? We divide, right? We divide by the number of, uh, or we, we divide by the Avogadro constant, eh? okay? So we divide by this uh, 6.02 times 10 to the power of 23. So this is a summary eh? for this uh, finding number of uh, particles and number of mole. One mole iron, okay? 6.02 times 10 to the power of 23. One mole sodium, still the same. Okay, like one dozen egg, it's equal to 12 egg, right? How about one dozen rambutan? Still 12, right? So it's the same, okay? So no matter what's, what's the elements, eh, okay? They are the same, okay? Because one more represents the same number. Example one, which contains more atoms? One mole of helium or one mole of uranium? Okay, and which has a uh, greater mass. The relative atomic mass of helium is 4 and the relative atomic mass of uranium is uh, 238. Uh, one mole of helium and one mole of uranium uh, for number of atoms. Uh, 6. Uh. So one more helium, one more uranium, the number of atoms are the same. But for the mass for the mass Uranium is greater, okay? Uranium is greater, why? Because it's, it has a bigger relative atomic mass. Example two, find the number of atoms in 2.5 mole of gold. So for those who has calculator, can you, can you please give me your answer? You already stored it in the calculator, right? This is the Avogadro constant. So it's equals to 2.5 times 6.5. 0, 02 times 10 to the power of 23 okay and this is equal to 1.505 times 10 to the power of 24 okay mm -hmm. so this is the answer find the number of molecules uh it's the same thing right okay no matter it's number of atoms or number of molecules eh? okay so the number of molecule is 0 0.12 times it will get constants 10 to the power of 23, yeah? okay, so use your calculator. 7.224 times 10 to the power of 22, yeah? okay, so this answer. Okay, now this one, they give you the number of atoms eh? and then they want you to find the number of mole, right? So if you still remember just now, if they give you the number of particles and then you want to find the number of moles, then we divide by the Avogadro constant, right? So. Uh, what we do is we take this 2.76 times 10 to the power of 23 and then we divide it by the Avogadro constant 6.02 times 10 to the power of 23 Four, uh, 458 more 
So they give you the number of particles, okay? They want you to find the number of molecules. So we take 1.806 times 10 to the power of 21. And then we divide it by the Avogadro constants. 6.02 times 10 to the power of 23. 0.003 mole.